Hey guys, welcome back to another video with me, Louise Egan from winitwordpress.com. Today I'm going to show you how to add custom bullet points to your WordPress website. So basically how to make a bulleted list but use your own icon for the actual bullet points. So let's get started. Okay, so as I said today, I'm going to show you how to put custom bullet points into your WordPress website. Uh, the traditional bullet point is just a circle and uh, it has to be the same color as your writing. And it's very, it's quite hard to um, actually kind of edit it and make it your own. Uh, so I'm going to show you two different ways to do this. One way is if you um, basically, if you're using just a paragraph of text, uh, it's it's very handy, but if you're using anything bigger, any bigger text, it doesn't really work very well. Um, but it's more customizable, so that's going to be the first way. And the second way then is what I have here, which is um, using icons just before your text. So I'm going to show you both these ways, and they both have different purposes, and I use both of them myself. So let's get started with the first one. Um, the first one is getting a plugin. So the plugin is called Short Codes Ultimate. You just go to your plugins page and click Add New. Now you can either upload a plugin if you have um, downloaded it from the plugin website or else you can just search right here and if you search um, short codes ultimate it'll pop up and just click install now and then it'll be installed. So if we look at my plugins you can see that here it is I have it um, installed. So it's short codes ultimate there'll be a link in the description for that anyway. And um, then if we go to the page that you want to edit. So I want to edit my home page. So let's just um, pop in here and edit. So um, now, as you can see, I'm using the WP Bakery um, page builder plugin, which is why you'll see this framework, but it'll work the exact same if you're using the regular WordPress um, text editor. So let's say if we want to just add in an, an, a new um, text box, let's say. So text block. And then what you want to do, I'll get rid of this, and you want to click insert shortcode. So this button won't be here unless you've actually gotten this plugin. Uh, but then you just click insert shortcode once you have the plugin and as you can see there's shortcodes for all sorts of things um, I haven't used too many of them myself yet because a lot of them I have in the WP Bakery um, plugin anyway but what it is handy for is list so that is where you're going to get your um, custom bullet points so if we click on list now it'll give you all your options for your shortcodes so you can check your you can pick your icon so if you click on icon picker, you can also upload your own icon if you had something that you wanted to put in. So you can literally pick anything. There's so many different ones that you can choose from. As you can see, uh, you can go in and pick whichever one you want. You can also search for them. Let's say if I want a tick. Um, that's actually searching for a tick. It's let's say tick. And there's all these um, ticks. Let's say if we want an X. Um, there's like all these different ones. So let's just say a random one. Let's say you want this little um, fire extinguisher and you can pick, choose your icon color. You can put in your code for your icon color. So there's a lot you can do with it. And that's why I like this. It's very customizable. But the only problem is I'll show you in a second what the problem is. So you can also add in an extra CSS and then you have your content. So let's just say insert short code. And here you have your three bullet points. They look like bullet points here. Um, let's just write in some text. Um, just into each of them so that they something shows up and then we click save changes and preview and if we go down to the bottom of our page you can see underneath this I actually didn't mean to put it underneath but we have our little fire extinguisher um, bullet points and we have our text beside them so you might be thinking to yourself well that's working fine uh, why would I need to do it another way well the thing is if I want to do, and as you can see as well, sorry, the text is in a different color to the, to the icon, which is very handy as well because you can't do that the other way. But anyway, let's, let's say uh, if I want to make this bigger, okay? So if I make this into a H2, now this is bigger, and we save changes, we preview. So as you can see now, the icon hasn't adjusted with the uh, text. So the text is actually 
further down than the icon and it's not in line. So if you want to use bigger text, this isn't going to work. And you also can't make the icon bigger, which is quite annoying. Um, but if you're using just normal paragraph text, um, well then that's, this, this plugin works perfectly. So I'm going to show you the other way to do it if you want to do bigger text. So let's go back. Um, we're just going to move this up before this because it's actually annoying me. Um, so let's just move this in here. And so now let's say we want to um, have this text and we want to have it big. So we'll just get rid of this short code for a minute. And this. So if we want to have our big text and we want to have, let's say, the fire extinguisher, extinguisher before it, um, but we want to have this fire extinguisher the same size as the text and we want to have it in line. What you're going to do is you're going to insert icon. So let's say fire extinguisher. Here we go. You can now the only problem with this is it's with my team anyway. You can mess around with it with your team, but my team won't let me have the icon a different color from the text. So it has to be the same color, which is the only problem with this one. So if it's bigger, for me anyway, it's gonna to have to be the same color. You can mess around with it. You can try putting a class in here and then add in some custom H custom CSS to make it a different color. Um, but I'm not sure if it's going to work. So let's just save changes and see what this looks like. Preview. And if we have a look down the bottom, you can see there we have it. The fire extinguisher is the same color. So instead of being purple as I had it before, it's the same color and it's the same size. Um, so that's the two ways that I do it. You can see up here, I have, I've used the second way um, because the if it's a list, these are actually going to be in a perfect straight line or else you can have, you can, you make the text uh, aligned to the left. Well, then it'll be still be in a perfect straight line. But with my team anyway, it has to be the same color as the text, which is the only downfall of this one. And if you want to use the other one, um, if you want to use bigger, bigger text, it's not going to work. So both of them have their advantages and their downfalls. Um, I'd say try it out and see which one works for you. But that's the two ways that you can make custom bullet points in your WordPress editor. So I hope this helped, guys, and let me know if there's anything else you or if you have any problems with this or if there's any other way I can help you. Thanks, guys. So there you have it. It's just a matter of downloading that plugin. Very, very simple. And um, just putting in your own icon and setting it up the way I showed you. Uh, sometimes, depending on your team, it might not work completely, depending on how much spacing you want to have between the lines. But it should work uh, for basic lists anyway. So I hope this helped, guys. Don't forget to check out my complete WordPress course. The link is in the description. And um, also, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. That would mean an awful lot. Uh, let me know in the comments if there's any videos you'd like me to do. And I will try my best to help you out. Thanks very much guys, see you in the next video.